Gonna do something a little different today uh, out at the range on a very cold day. I think it's minus five degrees Fahrenheit today. Set up a 12 by 20 silhouette as well as a 10 inch round gong. I apologize, they're hard to see. Uh, they are painted white and it is very white out. We have two pistols today. A Glock 17 MOS as well as the uh, Glock 17 MOS belongs to Machek, as well as a Walther PPQ uh, Navy that was custom milled. The slide was milled for a Vortex Venom 6 MOA red dot. That's the same optic on this Glock 17. The PPQ is mine. Uh, the Glock is Machek's. Uh, I'm just going to have some fun with them today. Got a bunch of mags fully loaded. Going to try to be pretty quick and accurate on this steel. I am far from the best pistol shot, but uh, trying to sell myself on picking up a Glock as well. I always shoot the PPQ better. Uh, let's see how I do with them today. Steel is very close. We're at the 25 yard bay, but we're at least half, I'm at least halfway uh, up to the steel. So this is like 10 or 12 yard sh shooting, very, very unchallenging, you could say. So, start with the block. Go back and forth, 17 round mag. Shooting Kula Steel. Not the best ammunition. Uh, in these conditions, let's see how it cycles. Too bad. Switching to the PPQ. Kind of a sluggish uh, chambering there. really not very challenging over here uh, I think we're gonna push back to 25 yards soon and another mag each at this point. <laughs> Getting numb, not to make excuses, but it is a chilly one out here today. Uh, between the two of them, I'm partial to the PPQ. Uh, it's mine. I will say I do feel like there's something to the Glock having less uh, muzzle flip because of the bore axis. I mean, the trigger has to go to the PPQ. There is another element of safety, I think, in the Glock trigger. Uh, I think you're less likely to have it go off in a stressful situation, but they're both uh, fine shooting guns and the red dots are great on both of them, it's the same red dot. Okay, a little bit too easy here. I think let's uh let's move it back move it back to 25 yards maybe try some uh, more precision work or you know no this is too much fun so uh, back to the uh back to the block show you guys a close-up of the gun you've seen it before on the channel it's just a Glock 17 MOS with that red dot. You can see that dot, not sure. Oh. It's showing up there. Yeah, you can barely see it, but it's pretty, pretty trick. Yeah, so I have the PPQ already. 
I'm contemplating buying a 19 as a 17, but uh, I think they shoot pretty similarly, so back to the Glock 17. <laughs> PPQ, kind of a uh, kick in the balls for me since I had this custom milled. I already had the uh, threaded barrel Navy model, super tactical. Um, I wanted a red dot on it and I did not want the Q5 match one um, particularly since I figure if I ever, if we ever get suppressors in the uh, Socialist Republic of Illinois, I'll already have a pretty good host uh, with that red dot. So I got this uh, custom milled. This PPQ, the one cool thing compared to the new Q4, I think it's called, Tactical from Walter, that uh, has the red dot plates already, as well as a threaded barrel, is the plates on the Walter Q4 and Q5 replace the rear sight, so you can't co-witness. On this, I had it milled so the rear sight is retained. It's pretty cool. Um, not that I have suppressor height sights right now, but that's an option going forward, so. Back to the PPQ. I really don't know about the uh, production value, guys, so I apologize about the focus, but it is really cold out here, and I'm a one-man show today, so that's what I can do. Back to the PPQ. left in the selection here of magazines is the factory PMAG 20 run round, 21 rounder for the Glock and for the PPQ I have a Terran Tactical plus five and I'll show that off uh, yeah, these are the two mags in question so this is the Glock Factory, well not Factory, it's a PMEG, 20 run rounder, right there. And this is a Factory 15 round PPQ mag with a Terran Tactical TTI plus 5 base plate. So uh, 20 rounds versus 21, the difference is the PMEG's probably like $20 all in, whereas a PPQ mag is $30 out of the box and this base plate was like $40. So uh, clear win of the Glock for cheap high mag capacity but let's um i'm gonna push back to 25 yards not that that's very challenging either but uh try to be pretty quick about getting hits before the range closes down on us here the sun's going down i really don't want to be caught out here after dark and minus five degrees okay so we're back here at the 25 yard mark Jeez, it's so cold, my tripod is having trouble pivoting. The grease in there is binding up. There you go, 25 yard bay two. That's where we are as a reference point. Uh, that blue bench up there is just where it was in the prior shots I took. So definitely further back. That's the uh, beauty of the red dot, I think, above anything else on a pistol is the ease with hitting at distance. You don't have to worry about that sight alignment so much. So, don't even know if I'll be visible in the shots. Don't really care too much. Let's see how the pistols compare. So, we're just gonna put 20 rounds down range. Glock and PPQ, I think maybe I'll go between them so I'm not just dumping the mags and I can get a better sense of uh, how the two compare. So, let's start with the PPQ since that is what I am more comfortable with. All right, 20 rounds, ready to go. PPQ, hit. Okay, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. 
Black 17, 20 run round PMAG. Okay, I just suck. Don't blame the gun for this. Once you get the hang of it, back to the PPQ. Had some misses with the PPQ as well. Back to the Glock. Okay, Glock is not empty. Oh boy, Glock is not empty. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We had a malfunction in the Glock, which I think contradicts the whole uh, perfection tagline, if I want to be cheeky about it. I don't know how a perfect gun can have a malfunction, but you know, that's cool. But it's really cold out here, and this ammo is bottom of the barrel. It's too low, so you can't be too hard on the gun. Now, in terms of the trigger, I think it, it does go to the Walther, um, but I think it's a training issue. But I think the Walther, the PPQ, I think it spoils you uh, compared to most other pistols. You have to be more deliberate. You have to have a better trigger uh, press with the Glock. You have to really squeeze it, know when it'll break. I feel like with the PPQ, you can kind of jerk it and still get hits, which is not a good habit. Um, I think it's a training issue. Um, I'm kind of selling myself on picking up a Glock as well since I want to get good at firing them. Okay, that's the PPQ empty. Zero malfunctions for the PPQ. One malfunction so far for the Glock. Let's finish out the Glock mag. Okay, the Glock is empty. Beautiful Waterman, Illinois. Sun is down, uh, minus five degrees. I think it's time to go home. Just some gratuitous Glock and PPQ footage for you guys. Other video today didn't pan out so much. Uh, gotta figure out what's going on with uh, that other gun, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see us freeze out here some more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, try to get more content out during the winter. When spring comes, I promise we'll have a lot more good stuff for you guys. So that's it. Tactical Accountants out. Uh, I'll catch you next time.